Hello guys, I hope you all well. Welcome to the video. Today's build video guys is for the Witch Starter class, of course, for Torment 16, non-seasonal farming. And my god guys, this thing absolutely rips and tears from T16 with ease, with absolute ease. It's absolutely monstrous. I'm completely in love with this build, man. <laughs> Probably one of the fastest I've ever done for the dock, guys, but oh man, it's crazy. So good. Anyway, before we uh, show this in action, guys, let's quickly go over what we're using. Okay, for those that know, guys, this is used is the brand new, which I'd say, Dunugu's Regalion, aka the Spirit Barrage set. Uh, two set bonus, guys. Uh, Big Bad Voodoo now follows you and lasts twice as long. Yeah, BBV now follows you. And when you cast it, also follows you into other zones. So, so we'll cast it now. Look, go boom. So as you're doing your refs, man, it'll follow you into every zone, which is great. And it also makes it last twice as long. Fantastic. Four step bonus, guys. Gain 60% damage reduction for 30 seconds when you enter the spirit realm. The spirit realm is basically spirit walk, okay? So when you hit spirit walk, boom, you get this little buff counter here, guys. Attune to the realm. Reduce damage taken for 20, well, up to 30 seconds, basically. Nice. But don't worry, we've got mechanics in this build that makes you indestructible to all DPS. Then six piece bonus, guys. Spirit Barrage deals 20,000% increased damage plus an additional percentage equal to five times your man regeneration per second. I'm not actually using the man regeneration part of this build because 20,000 is more than enough with mana too, especially guys, this room here. To absolutely destroy T16. It's uh yeah, it's savage. It's absolutely savage. So uh yeah, I didn't actually use the mana regen part of it. Just using the base 20 case. It's more than enough. More than enough. That way we can focus on other skills. That's going to sort of make the mobs pop quickly. And uh, movement speed and things like that. It's so, so nice. There you go, guys. Brilliant. Okay, then. So, uh, yeah, guys. Full Torment 16 builds. Let's get all your keys and stuff, man. Main hand weapon, guys. You want to use, of course, is the Barber. Okay? Instead of accumulating direct damage, your spread Barrage now accumulates onto the target. When you stop casting, it explodes for up to 500%. This one's only a 455. Only 455, and I'm shredding T16 with this one already. I do have a few orgs on gear, but I've actually tested this build when the PTR was up on non seasonal play with no orgs whatsoever. And even then, even without Ring of Emptiness, I was shredding T16, so a little bit overkill with, uh, <laughs> with a bit of couple of orgs, a couple of weak orgs there. Brilliant. Okay, guys, yeah, basically, as the uh, Spirit Barrage cleanates onto the target, it will explode. And you just go bang, and you just see everything just wrecks. Great. Offhand, guys, of course, is the new updated Gaze and Demise. Spirit Barrage gains a Phantasm Room, which is these spirits here. Each active Phantasm lasts now twice as long and increases the damage of Spirit Barrage up to 150%. Also increases the attack rate of Manitou Spectres as well. So you can see right here, if I cast one spirit, you know, he's. Chugging away, okay. Cast two, a little bit faster. Then cast three, and when you have the third one active, that's when it goes nuts, okay. So as you're farming around, you want to spam three specters just very quickly. We've got loads of attacks in this build, so you can do it super, super quick. And boom, then you're just going to run around, and this spirit dude, guys, is just going to wreck the whole screen. <laughs> it's absolutely. I can't wait to show you guys in-game footage, man. It's absolutely savage. Oh, so good. Okay, guys. So first ring, guys, is retro ring. Uh, last ring. Absolutely love this ring for speed farming builds, both in GR speeds and also Torment 16. So basically, as we hit with a fear, it gives you an extra 60% movement speed, which is great. Also, it's got a fear on the ring itself, and also we're using Horrify here as well. That gives movement speed and fear, so your proxy is doing directly and lets you just go whew, so, so quick, man. First gem, guys, is the Bane of the Trap for the extra damage bonus. It's got 101 here at the moment. Because these spirits are cold... It actually proxies that range as well, which is just even better. So you proxy that range as well, man. Good old trap. Brilliant. Okay, guys, belt, we're using gold wrap, okay? So gold wrap basically makes us completely indestructible to all damage while we pick up uh, gold. And it gives us a massive armor bonus, basically. So, uh, of course, we are using the average bad. As we pick up gold, it extends our pickup radius to 30 yards, which is awesome. And it just doesn't pick up gold. It picks up all the other stuff as well, like your health globes, your progress globes as well. So it's a great thing to have. And always have a boon of the horde in there, guys. So as you kill targets, it gives you movement speed and guaranteed gold every kill. Unless you the whole screen was filled up with gold and you just get scooped up. It's great. Lovely. For Amity, guys, you can pretty much use anything you want, but um, I love Flavor of Time for speed farming builds because, you know, if you just hit a speed, a speed pylon, power pylon, conduit, it's just going to help you clear through that rift so much quicker. Last gem, guys, I'm actually using Zia Stun of Vengeance, okay? So basically, it gives you a stun, but more importantly, it gives you uh, an increase of damage for every 10 yards which you and the enemy hit. As we're running through the rifts, we got a few mobs like training behind, man. These 
cult sick and a wreck was Geostone of Vengeance. But to be honest, it's up to you. You can use what you like. You know, you can use, say, Reef of Light or Movement Speed, or you can use good old powerful guys, but good old powerful with a big damage bonus. You want insane attack speed, you can pop, the, uh, pop in a pain in hearts. It's up to you. You can go with what you really, really like. But I found that Zia's, for me personally, man, worked really, really well. Early on in maybe, say, the Diablo season, um, pain hearts is actually quite nice because. Just get to level 25 gives you a huge sheet increase as you're bleeding loads of targets. So we've got Wormwood in this build where Autocast Locust Swarm and it's going to proc that really well. So in the early season, even though this is not a seasonal build, I would probably you that like very early on because just level 25, boom, so you can get that big and ramp up. But like I said, it's up to you guys, use what you want. Nice. Okay, guys, so the rest of the gear then. Yeah, so uh, the full uh, spiritual set, uh, set, you want to use uh, the boots, the legs. The chest, the shoulders, and the gloves, and the helm as well. Put a diamond helm, guys, because you want cooldown reduction, of course. Uh, for chest and uh, legs, just slot in uh, rubies or emeralds for the armor bonus. But to be honest, it doesn't really matter, man, because, you know, Torma 16 is going to get one shot anyway with this particular build setup. It's fantastic. It's so, so nice. Bracer, guys, Nemesis Bracers to spawn extra mobs from pylons for more progress. And DBs, baby, and more fat, sweet, sweet loot. Nice, let's quickly go over to the cube, guys. In the cube, like I said earlier, is Wormwood. Okay, so what this does, you see this green aura pulse here? Anything in, is in that area will be automatically cast Pestilence, okay? So this will basically go off here. And as soon as Pestilence hits that target, it will spread to every mob on the map. Yeah, just go vroom, constantly. It's going off constantly. So normally for a build like this, you would need Creeping Death to keep the DOT applied to your target. To proc, you know, to proc ROE, but because it's automatically going off all the time, we don't actually need it, and we're one shot and everything anyway, so it's a waste of a passive. That's why the yeah, to make this build as lazy as possible, that's why I put it into the build. It's great. Okay, guys, second up, man, is Hexing Pants of Missyana. I love this thing. So basically, as you're moving, it gives you a huge damage increase. Twenty five percent is huge. You can see my sheet there. Look, when I stand still. 1.5 when I'm moving, 2.273, it's huge, because we're moving constantly, so it's perfect to pop in the hexapans to give you that extra damage on the move, really jumps your DPS. Then last guys, last but not least of course is Ring of Emptiness, okay, so this now only takes one spell now to proc either Horn or Locust Swarm, that's why I've got this in here, so you get 300% increased damage onto your targets now, that only takes one spell, if we can finally have a, uh, a speed farming build now on the Witch Dots, like a proper one, and we can actually do this in GR speeds as well. I'll have a video coming out for that one quite soon as well. But yeah, Ring of Enter Guide. Deal 300% increased damage to enemies affected by Horde or Locust Swarm. Boom. And uh, yes, it absolutely shreds. It's great. Okay, guys, for skills then, let's have a quick look. Okay, guys, Spirit Branch, Mana 2, man. So this thing here lasts for 20 seconds. But remember, you know, you, um, it's only going to be spent out bolts super quick when you have three Phantasms out, which comes from this mojo here. Okay, so like I said earlier, class 1. Just a couple of bolts, cast two, more, then three, and that's when it goes crazy, okay? So before you start, first start out, you know, you just cast like one, two, three, spirit walk, hit your big bad voodoo, and boom, and off you go, man. Just watch the whole screen just melt. It's great, great, great fun, man. Love the spirit walk, everyone. It's so great. So yeah, guys, uh, I'm to there. So uh, automatic cast bolts. Big Bear Voodoo Boogie Man. Why am I using Boogie Man? Why am I not using Rain Dance or Slam Dance for more damage increase? We don't need it, basically. You don't need it. So, uh, I'm a massive fan of Fierce Loyalty. Okay, this requires an active pet to give you that huge movement speed 15%. And 30% when you're not in combat. Okay, I love this thing. It's so good in GS in any sort of speed. I love it. So I was like, ah, oh, I can't fit in uh, zombie dogs here because I need all these runes on my bar. And I thought to myself, I know because we don't need the damage. Let's use Boogie Man instead. Enemies who die in the ritual area have a 50% chance of resurrection as a zombie dog, which is perfect. So zombie dogs class as a pet, and boom, you get that massive movement speed increase. Great, great synergy there. Love it. And also, like I said, guys, it also gives you a damage increase as well because uh, increases your attack speed. And your movement speed by 15% for 20 seconds, which is doubled by the set bonus as well, which is great. So you get 40 seconds there. It's fantastic. Brilliant. Okay, guys, look at Swarm Passants. 100% spread. Proxy Ring of Emptiness bonus. It's automatically cast to you from the Wormwood in the cube. Brilliant. Soul Harvick Eye, Soul to Waste for movement speed buff and intelligence buff. Brilliant. Spirit Wall Severance. This is your main mobility skill. Uh, as soon as it's up, just cast it. It's also going to proc your damage reduction as well, though you probably won't need it because you're going to be indestructible anyway. And uh, yeah, brilliant spell, man. Gives you loads of movement speed. Then Horrify Stalker gives you three seconds of CC. Proc your Retro Ring of Last Ring as well. And increase your movement speed by 20%. Brim. 
yeah, yeah, like I said earlier, for a slower T, for movement speed, pierce the veil. We, I'll put this in the build because uh, I wanted more as much damage as I can possible for the mana two bolts going off. Okay, so this will affect it at all ranges. Okay, and just gives you that massive pop. Uh, for the last one here, I actually use gruesome feast because we have a maximum pickup radius pretty much on the screen. We're around about thirty yards, but it's a lot of the screen. As soon as you kill an elite pack, which you should be jumping from elite pack to elite pack, they always drop. Um, health globes so if you use gruesome face it jumps you up your intelligence up to 50 percent which is a huge increase because the whole point of this build is make the mana two bolts the main damage dealer not actually the phantasms okay so we're going for this damage here not so much for the actual phantasm damage so we're buffing this dude here that's firing out the bolts that's why i've not put no enforcer in this build or mask of germ in the cube okay because the pet stuff only buffs this phantasm here not the mana two spectre okay nice Brilliant. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, Piss of Our Guys, Grusome Feast. Uh, you can change your Grusome Feast to anything you want. You know, if you're in hardcore, obviously, you know, Spirit Vessel Guys, or if you just want a flat damage bonus, that is always there. Cobbs Ritual. But Cobbs Ritual only works within 25 yards. You know, a lot of this is um, designed to do a lot of damage at range with like the Zeer Stone, Avenger, etc., etc. But it's up to you, man. But I just really like Grusome Feast, man, because that in 50% intelligence is, is massive. You know, it's absolutely huge. And last one, you guys, of course, Graving Justice. Every time we kill one target, we get one second of cooldown, a bit of mana, and a bit of health back as well. But this is a extended by our pickup radius so we actually get uh, <laughs> we're, it's got 20 yards base then we've got another 30 yards on top from uh average band so yeah it works really really good okay guys so uh yeah let's show this in action then got some pre-recorded footage uh we've done this with uh, no paragon and in the main set just movement speed we got a few orgs core gems of 101 boon horde of 50 and zeus 103 so pretty common pretty common stuff right let's show this in action guys watch this man my god <laughs> Okay, guys, here we go. Rotation C there. I just did three little casts there to get the spirits out. Now, Wormwood is auto casted, and <laughs> as you can see, it's, uh, yeah, it's absolutely shredded. It's absolutely shredded. So, uh, the Manitou bolts will attract any target that's close by. Also, even breakables as well. The Manitou bolts will attack anything that could be hit, basically. And, um, yeah. It's extremely easy, man. So basically, just just cast uh, Spirit Brush three times. Then you've got 10 seconds of crazy bolts going out like mad. And because you've got so much pickup radius, like 50 yards, your GI is procking like crazy. Like, see how fast everything is refreshing on my bar. So I can just spam Spirit Walk, Horrify, etc., etc. And uh, yeah, it's extremely quick. Extremely, probably one of the faster builds I've actually done for the Wish Dotter, actually. But I know Blizzard wanted to give the Wish Dotter a, a speed build, and uh, yeah, this is crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. You can see the bolts are just shredded. <laughs> now, I do have a few orgs on this gear, but like I said earlier, I tested this build with zero orgs, just basic agents, level 25 gems on a seasonal play when the PTR was up, and uh. It was a, a little bit slower than this, but not that far behind. And I was like, wow, this is going to be crazy. So, imagine if I actually used my Paragon in this run. Oh, my word. It would literally be one shot C. <laughs> Look, the Rift Garden's already here. And uh, boom. Dead. But yeah, the rotation, guys, is extremely easy. So, yeah, just cast Spirit Barrage three times at the start. That would get your bolts forming. Spirit Walk into the mobs. As soon as you pick up any goal generated by Boon the Hoarder, you're indestructible for five seconds. And then you've got huge pickup radius. And uh, pretty much that's all you got to do. Make sure Big Bad Voodoo's up all the time. As soon as it's available, just quickly cast it. It's going to give you more attack speed, more DPS, more movement speed. It's going to spawn those dogs. So it procs your fierce loyalty passive for even more movement speed. And it just lets you absolutely shred T16. It's great. There you go. Nothing amazes that. I can't wait, man. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh, that's great. But I've had a hell of a lot of fun making this one today, guys. Fantastic, bro. Woo! And there you go, guys. That is uh, the Spirit Branch Build Bed, aka Spirit Walker for Torment 16. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. In the description of this video, there'll be a guide link to Diablo Fan. So if you want to know exactly what I have on each roll of gear, what gems to use, you know, etc., etc., it's all there. Just click on the link and you know exactly what to roll in your gear. And there you go, guys. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe and share this video. And I'll see you in the next one. I will be, will be recording a seasonal version of this on probably Friday or Saturday because it's, it's crazy. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Enjoy the build. See you in the next video. Take care. Woo! Lovely.
Thanks again, guys, for watching the video. Shout out to all my Patreon supporters, guys. Thank you so, so much for the extra love support. And everyone's been on channel, guys, for now many, many years. See you next video, guys. Take care. Enjoy Spirit Walker. Woo!